Hello everyone, what's up? This is Rich, and if you notice on my screen right now, I don't have a taskbar, I have this. Looks a lot like OS X, doesn't it? Well, this is actually called Star Dock. Actually, I'm sorry, Object Dock. This is a download. They have a free version and a paid version of it. I'm using the free version right now. And uh, if I was to get to it, I'll just go to Internet. And then I will go to Google and search for object doc all one word o b j e c t d o c k and click i'm feeling lucky and this is object doc and there is a a plus version for 20 bucks and there's a free download which is the one i'm using right now and let me just minimize this now the deal about object doc is that this is and this is windows xp by the way this is not vista um, the deal with this is that this is the closest thing you can get to the dock interface on the Macintosh without running Macintosh and this is very very slick I will admit and here's my open application the star dock thing if I go to another website such as yahoo.com and then let's just say I minimize it it will actually show an image of the web page right here in the open application. I have mine configured in such a way to do that. Uh, to configure the dock, well, first of all, you're probably going to ask, well, where did the taskbar go? If I go to configure the dock, there's a checkbox that says hide the Windows taskbar. If I uncheck it, you notice it came right back and it's on the bottom here. But if I check this, it hides the taskbar and adjusts this appropriately. And uh, also, I have it configured so that all the open applications appear on the right side. And that's pretty cool. And uh, you can add and remove things to this. Like, I have a clock that came with it. This is the recycle bin. There's nothing in there currently. Uh, this is the weather, which I showed you and shows a five-day forecast. And, uh, and, you know, some other stuff. Like, if you want to go to uh, My Documents, you click that. It opens the My Documents folder. It's kind of neat. It's kind of neat. Uh, you would probably only really find use for this if you're a really hardcore OS X fan and you just have to have a dock-like interface uh, in Windows. And this is basically the way to do it. And it's pretty nifty looking, if I must say so myself. You can also customize the dock in uh, the way that it looks. You can change the magnified size, the icon size. You can change the look of it. Like right now I have vector cell black, but if I go to glass vista, you'll notice that it changes it and you got these green things underneath it or I could go to uh, let's go scroll up here gloss blue now it's got a bar a white bar you can see uh, there's another one I think it actually has uh, some tufts of grass if I can find that one. Oh, hyper grass there it is now they all have little grass thing kinda looks uh, like an old video game a little bit which is kinda nifty uh, but the one that I prefer to use is the uh, vector cell black because it looks good. And this right here is the actual start menu. If I click this, it brings up the start menu and I can go around and do things. I click outside of it and it goes away. Uh, with the paid version, you get a couple of more extra options. If we uh, I actually go back here and this is learn about plus. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. It's I think it's on the download page. Actually, if I go to yeah, there it is. All the check marks. With the free version, you get put shortcuts on your dock, display running tasks on your dock, put docklets, uh, this clock, and this uh, weather thing is a docklet. Uh, zoom over, change the appearance, position the dock on any edge of the screen. The dock can be moved to the right, to the left. It can be centered. It can be wherever you want. Uh, up optionally represent running programs by snapshot of their window and this one when I do things like this in a browser if it's minimized that's a snapshot of the window that's what that means skinnable yes I'm using you saw the skins a second ago optional swinging icons and mouse over uh, well actually I, sh I guess I should show you that if I go to configure the dock and I go to effects and I do the swing effect and then see how these they're kind of jumping around like that and if I move away from them, they just keep swinging like that. I prefer the zoom effect. I just think it looks cooler. And you can turn it off by the way if you want to. Now in the 
plus version, you can have tabbed docks, multiple docks on the screen at once, uh, ability to auto hide, more mouse over icon effects, task grouping, system tray support, fly out menus, hotspot activation. I think for most of us out here, this version would do just fine. If you really want to have those extended options, you can get the uh, the paid version for 1995. But this free version is not too shabby at all. So if you want to check it out, it's called Object Doc. Just go to Google and search for it. You'll find it. And uh, I don't know what kind of memory chunk this takes up. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know what? I think I'm going to actually check that right now. Let's see if I can bring that up here. All right. Applications. Let's see here. Let's see if I can find it. I don't even know what it's called in this. Let's search by image name. Okay, going down the list here. Ah, here we go. Okay, so actually it's only got maybe a 5,428K print, which is actually less than Firefox, so it doesn't take up a lot of memory, so that's additionally good. Oh, by the way, there are options in here where you can set performance options by clicking the button, and you can go to very fast to extra gradual and uh, you can optimize for performance, optimize for memory. So if you have a slower computer, there are options to attune for that. So that's also good. So Stardock, if you like these nifty little eye candy things, go check it out.